So welcome back to Electric Vehicles channel my dear friends. I am Krishna Jitinya Mandela. In this Ask Electric Vehicles 7th episode, I will answer some of the subscribers questions. So the first question is asked by an interesting person. My son Darya, I have to travel 70 km every day. Please suggest good electric scooter. Need minimum speed of 60 km per hour. Is Okinawa okay iPrice Plus is okay with it. Actually, Okinawa okay electric scooter works with a 1 kW motor, but they can run with a top speed up to 60 km per hour. As per the speed, it is okay for you. According to the speed, what you want, 60 km per hour, you can get in the Okinawa electric scooters. But coming to after sale, most of the subscribers complaining about the service of it. If your local dealer is assuring about the service, you can go with Okinawa electric scooter. Not just Okinawa electric scooter, any dealer is assuring the quality service, you can buy electric scooter. And the second question is asked by Mr. Konal Prajapat, billing or after state subsidy in Delhi is 73,000 rupees and as you know there is no subsidy on e Pluto 7G, which one will be better? See we already made a comparison video between e Pluto 7G and Benling Aura. Have a look at the video and also we made separate reviews about e Pluto 7G and Benling Aura. Please check those videos once. Then you can decide. And my request to any electric vehicle user, go for a test ride. Test ride the electric vehicle in bad road conditions also, not, not just test ride in uh, flat road conditions. You don't understand the problems in the electric vehicle. So always go for test ride, then only you make a choice. The next question is asked by Mr. Shivam Varma. I live in Jaipur and planning to buy a new scooter. Here two scooters are available, e Pluto 7G and Komaki XGT KM. Komaki dealer is saying, he will increase the range by upgrading the battery with a higher capacity and of course he is charging money for that. Is it safe to do this? Is Komaki providing good service overall? See the first thing you are asking about the battery upgrade. Definitely you can upgrade the battery pack. There is no problem with that. But you are asking about whether Komaki is providing good service all over India or not. Again the important point here. The service purely depends on the local dealer. It's not depends on Komaki or some ex manufacturer. If the local dealer has enough knowledge about electric vehicles, then definitely you can go and buy the electric vehicle. So check with the dealer. If you are satisfied by the assurance from the dealer, then you can proceed with that. And the next question is asked by Mr. SK MD Julas. I just want to know about the lithium ion battery pack of EVs. Do I need to change the whole battery pack worth 50,000 rupees in case the battery gets damaged or can I change the damaged cell at much lower cost? Yeah, definitely lithium ion battery cells can be repairable. You don't need to completely replace the lithium ion battery pack. So don't worry about spending 50,000 rupees at a time. So that's the answer for your question. And the next question is asked by the real tech. I want to know information regarding Optima HX dual battery variant. Is this scooter battery is made with NMC or LMO combination of chemistry? Yeah, it is made with NMC chemistry. And the next question is asked by again Shivam Verma. Difference between lithium ion battery, lithium iron phosphate battery and lithium titanate battery. Which is better and is Komaki offering lithium iron phosphate battery pack? If not Komaki then which company is offering the best battery? See my answer for this particular question lithium ion or lithium iron phosphate or lithium titanate battery. So the main difference between these three battery packs is the life cycles. Compared to lithium ion, lithium iron phosphate batteries having better life cycles. Again compared with LFP batteries. Lithium titanate batteries having better life cycles. But as you ask which chemistry is best, for that question, always remember don't blindly buy electric vehicle battery pack based on it is a lithium ion battery or lithium iron phosphate battery or lithium titanate battery. Only if the company provided quality cells, even if it is a lithium ion battery, if they, if they have used quality cells, you can go with lithium ion battery. Even if it is LFP batteries, if they don't provide quality cells, don't go for that. So remember only one thing, it's not dependent on the battery technology technology purely depend on the quality of the cells. So check with that cells. So how can you get the quality cells? Definitely the branded electric vehicles will provide you the branded batteries, the quality cells. So that's the answer for the question. And the next question is asked by Mr. Santosh Nahak. What is the future of battery, com battery company he is mentioning about a manufacturer battery? Because daily one company has come to market but company should live for 10 to 20 years. Otherwise who will provide service to customers. See, it's very early to comment on this because the electric vehicle revolution has started in India. As you mentioned about battery company, there are several other electric vehicle startups in India. And this company is a two-year-old company. 
so we need to wait for another three to five years to comment on the future of these startups because even ether energy also started four years back entered into the market now the startup company turned into a old company in the same way it is too early comment on these startups we need to wait and watch whether they will give the quality of service all they will pack up and the final question is asked by mr vinay gunjal can we expect government subsidy on ola electric scooter declared by center and various state governments see it's not just for ola any electric vehicle this answer is applicable okay as you mentioned about ola electric scooter ola based on the battery capacity if they go, if they go with 4 kilowatt hour battery pack based on 15000 rupees per each kilowatt hour they should get 60000 rupees from fame to scheme but take for an example in delhi government if you purchase the same electric two wheeler if ola is eligible for subsidies from state government also again you will get an additional subsidy of 15000 rupees in addition to the central government subsidy so whoever purchase electric vehicle in particular states like delhi government even if you purchase electric vehicle in maharashtra also you will get additional subsidy apart from fame to scheme subsidy so electric scooters will be even more cheaper in delhi and maharashtra compared to other states because you will get two subsidies one is central government and state government so subscribers if you have any questions about electric vehicles please do ask in the comment section below and we will answer them in the next week for genuine information about electric vehicles please subscribe to electric vehicle channel and for faster updates please do follow our facebook page go green go electric